All right. It's been a while. Man, how many times am I looking at myself? It's repaired. It's all in my game stream with that info. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Crazy stuff going on here today. So, the last time that we were here, you guys saw that we were taking apart this MacBook Pro. Uh, we had to take the battery out, which required acetone in order to get to the battery compartment. Uh, we did, I managed to finish that yesterday. It was not a fun endeavor, but I did get it done. It was a massive pain in the ass. I never want to do it again. But it wasn't as bad as before when we were using it without the acetone, so I guess we have that going for us. So today what we're going to do is we're going to remove, let's see, we're going to, I thought we were going to clone a 1 terabyte to a 512 NVMe, but I can't find my NVMe adapter, so I've got to order one of those. And then we're going to have to do a fresh install on the Lenovo laptop because the drive is so bad. Um, we couldn't clone it yesterday. We're going to finish the battery installation on this. We're going to finish the clone, just install it on here. The fan is super loud. I'd like to try to tear this computer down and check to see if there's enough thermal paste on this thing. And then finally, uh, I was going to say we should totally use this drive since it's not the right form factor for this MacBook. But again, I can't clone, um, I can't clone an NVMe drive because, huh, can I? Yeah, no, I can't do it because it'd have to be on a Mac and the Macs don't take NVMe drives. So let's go ahead and order an adapter real quick. NVMe USB. Actually, we probably don't need that. We just had a package delivered from Amazon. Let's see what's in it. Maybe we got lucky. Maybe the adapter that we ordered in order to use the NVMe drive was delivered today instead of tomorrow. Wouldn't that be hot? I'd love that. Nope, it's just a battery for might actually be for that big ass Dell. Yep. Okay. So we will skip the cloning until tomorrow when we get it. I don't like plastic waste. Okay, so skipping over that, what we're going to do now is let's do the fresh install on the 120 gig. We tried, we tried, we really tried on this Lenovo. You can even tell that the acetone started eating away at this plastic. <sighs> Alright, so this Lenovo is like barely a year and a half old. And it had a solid state drive in it when she bought it. Wasn't a bad wasn't a bad computer, but <clears throat> the drive, which appears to be made by silicon power, uh, decided to give up the ghost. T5, perfect. 
And so because of that, she's having problems. Let's see here. That's an extra 3.5. Penelope. All right, back in action. Let's go ahead and take this apart. My friend Baneglory from Reddit and Instagram has followed me. I don't think he's watching right now though, but if he is, Baneglory, shout out to you, man. Thanks for following my keto Instagram. <clears throat> usually try to get a pretty good view of these computers. That one's gonna come out. These should release all the way, but for some reason, some of these are not coming undone. I think in an AMD A12 computer they'd put a drive that would last. And I would think that a silicon power would last longer than a year and a half. Good grief. Come on, hey. Got you now, sucker. All right. That looks like it's every screw that's visible. I don't think they put any underneath the feet, but the keyboard might be removable. It's not. So, what we'll do is we'll start over here by the DVD drive. Usually the easiest part gets separated first. Now that we've got some separation, we're just going to slide our fingers around. I usually do this in my lap. Uh, <clears throat> feeling good today. Alright. Hey, a silicon power. It's also not seated correctly. the exact same drive that we use, an A55. Now she's really not doing much with this, so... Ugh. Just goes to show that uh, even solid states can go bad. We couldn't even clone that one. Let me go grab 120 gig real quick. already be over here because I have 120 gig. Oh, I hope Brittany didn't grab the 120 instead of the 240. If she did, I'm going to have to tear down the computer she just built. Brittany's here working with me today, so that's nice. Oh, nope, I remember what we did. We tried cloning to it, and it kept failing. So, 
go ahead and put this in here. Hey, what's up, Demet? My man's. Got the installation of the 120 done. Yep, fixing the Singapore special. Rad Computers, this is Mark. Hey, it's Rick. Um, I dropped my computer off earlier today. Yep. We are nearly um, done. We're nearly done with it. Oh, you are? Okay. Um, 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 what, what was the problem with it? It was the drive. So yeah, we've, we've okay. got... We've got the new one in there, we're installing the operating system right now, and then as soon as it's done, we'll okay. shuttle it back up to the to the Scottsdale store, and if uh, if it's after 5 o'clock, we can just bring it straight to you. Um, yeah, I'm not far from the other location, so... Okay. Sounds good. Um, what, what would the cost be on that? Um, I believe I quoted you either 175 or 200. We went with a 240 gig solid state drive so that he would have more space. Okay. So I, th I think it'd be 200. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Thank you. My pleasure. Let me know when you, uh, when you get up in this area, I'll uh, meet you then. Alright, that sounds great. Alright, thank you. My yep, pleasure. Bye-bye. Yep, Bye-bye. Bye. So we got the uh, we got our Yelp updated for our Scottsdale location. So now it says Rad Computers in two different places instead of Rad Computers in my discount tech. I got a jump start in the Scottsdale location because the Yelp that I moved up there has 17 five-star reviews already. It makes us the number two up in that area, right behind 2J Tech. But his uh, 2J, which I guess does decent work, um, his his picture on Yelp looks like a shack because he works out of a shack or something. He works out of his apartment or whatever, but it like it just looks so dilapidated and run down. Like, can you even row? <laughs> I'm trying to update Brittany's um, installers. So before we can do this one, I just need to go to E2B, Windows, Windows 10. Let's see, what's the last installer she had? 1709 and 1803. Yeah, no, thank you. We're getting rid of those. Sorry, babe. All right, she needs a hot copy of Windows 10, 1809. I love when they ask, how many computer is this install, is this copy of Microsoft Office or Microsoft Windows installed on and I'm like well let's see you guys cranked out probably 3 million Windows 10 disks which are all identical and I'm pretty sure that Windows 10 is on dozens and dozens and dozens of computers thousands and thousands and thousands of computers <laughs> so I don't know you tell me and they're like excuse me sir I'm sorry what how many computer is it installed on and I'm like one the answer was one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to set that aside for now. We'll do a data transfer her in a little bit. Uh, let's finish up that MacBook battery installation, right? 
That'll be fun. I'd like to get that off my plate. And disposed of that other battery. That was nice. Uh, I already turned the Mac on just to make sure that everything was working after we used the acetone. Uh, that is my first concern whenever using acetone. I want to make sure that it's not doing anything. And so with this, we're just going to put this in right here. And we're going to test it with the battery first. Okay. Slide it over a little bit. There we go. catching on, but there we go. Alright, now it's symmetrical. Alright. Now we're doing this first because I want to make sure that this battery can charge. Should have enough of a charge to at least turn it on. Yes, it does. Give me that hot, sweet noise. Oh, well, it came on, but it's not enough. So we'll go ahead and do an emergency shutdown. Press and hold the power button. So the battery does say that it works. We'll go ahead and remove the plastic. Now these also have tape squares on them, which is insane considering what we just went through. And another company wants to put us through the same level of hell. Now one thing that we need to put back on before we put the tape on, uh, the battery in is we need to put the mouse cover back on, which is right here. Actually, not sure which way it went. Pretty 99.9% .9 sure. Yep, it went this way. Alright. That protects the mouse. Hey, Striker, what's up, dude? Oh, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Did you watch me take this battery out yesterday with acetone? If you didn't, you missed out, man the best stream ever broke my record for most consecutive <laughs> f-bombs <laughs> all right there we go new battery is in he needed his battery replaced because the other one wasn't charging, and also the battery cells were swelling, so there you go. Tomorrow we're going to clone this drive. Sorry, we're going to clone this drive to this drive using an adapter that will allow it to fit right here because these proprietary drives are fucking expensive. Thanks, Apple. They're expensive, they break just as often as other drives do. And then you have to, when you have to replace them, you have no recourse except to buy either those or 
the shitty ones from OWC that have a 25% failure rate. Which is literally roughly the same failure rate that the Apple ones do. Thanks, Apple. Thanks, Apple. So we have two black screws that are supposed to be used to hold this on, and it's using a T5 driver instead of a penelope. So we're going to switch from our Phillips to our T5 Torx. Let's just hold on the little battery bar. Hello. Oh shit, you're here already. Okay, give me just a second guys, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So, my food that I ordered got here much quicker. Hey, what's up, Adam B? 
Um, so my food got here much quicker than I thought, and I had to pull up a picture of a credit card to make the payment. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking, dude, to be honest with you. This design sucks. There's one. <laughs> That's so funny. Things related to your search. Women's lingerie, women's lingerie, women's lingerie, women's lingerie. I was looking for men's socks. Who are you cheating on me with? <laughs> oh man, I can only imagine. Amazon fucking up relationships since 2006. Alright, we're going to switch from our T5 to a 1.2 penelobe. Yeah, right? Oh, you know what? Tomorrow... We've still got to clone it, so there's really no point in putting the bottom casing on. Oh, fuck you do! It will do. Let's put a lid on it. And then we'll tape, 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 tape to tape it. Tape, 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 tape to tape it. That way we don't misplace it. All right, and my thumb drive should be finished copying 1809 over to hers. Perfect. I don't know what a gimp mask is. What is a gimp mask? <laughs> Do I want to know? I want to know what you're searching. Tell me what's on your history. This A12 has no USB 3 ports? Are you fucking kidding me, Lenovo? Got a USB 3.1 port, but no regular USB 3.0 ports. It's got USB 2.0. So bitch, you've got to be kidding me. Is it something I'm gonna have to Google like two girls, one cup, or blue waffles? <laughs> All the old memes that really terrified people. Goatsy. None of you look any of this up if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Please, for the love of God, don't do it. How great would it be if this computer just refused? I know what GIMP the program is. <laughs> is that, are we on the same level? Is that, is that the same thing? Am I, am I accurate? <laughs> All right, where is her puny little charger at? All right, she brought me this puny little charger. Just gotta figure out which one of these cables leads to it. So that's 
Teresa's. Maybe she didn't bring me the charger. So I only see one charger plugged in. Luckily, I just bought a universal charger. Oh, here it is. Bank sisters. Nope, this is the wide-tipped Lenovo that we used the other day. You guys have been watching my stream last night, we, my uh, cooking stream. So last night we wound up making three keto pizzas. We made a cheese, a pepperoni, and a pesto one with pepperoni. That pesto one was everybody's favorites. It was super good. So this is a Belkin charger. Surprisingly, they make uh, they make a pretty solid universal charger that's 90 watt rated. I was actually really surprised about that. Alright, so we're looking for a really tiny one. Might be this one. Hey. It's actually really surprised because I normally only see Belkin make hubs and routers. And I hope they are out of the router game because Belkin and Netgear routers were made by the same company. And they are fucking terrible. I don't give a fuck. Don't come crying to me, because I will say I told you so. They'd go out in like... Three months, I think it was. Or not three, I'm sorry, less than three years. I've seen Linksys routers that are still going. Uh, we're gonna have to put this in UEFI mode real quick. UEFI. Yep, Netgear sucks. Sorry, not sorry. Can't recommend their company enough to ignore. <laughs> really can't. I don't know what just happened, but my USB hub just died on my computer. Straight up died. I plugged in my USB drive and it just kerplunk. Oh, fuck, shit. It's gonna be a long day, dude. Dudes. Oh, don't look down my shirt. I don't want to get banned. <sighs> wow, it's like all my USBs just died. Well, couldn't have been because everything else is still working. Hey, I've got this laptop over here that we're working on. We can use this to convert it. Sort of. So the clone on this Inspiron took over five hours. It took five hours, 44 minutes, and 18 seconds. Converting it to UEFI so I don't have to do anything to the BIOS. Come on. 
on, switch it, hurry up. It's like trying to switch it and then it's failing and reverting it back. Oh, wait, I think it did it. Did it do it? install Windows to this Lenovo real quick. Then we'll try to do a data transfer for her. Yeah, yeah. Give me a boot menu. There you go. doing a uh, 120 gig in this computer because she was she literally doesn't save anything to the computer she just uses it to get online access email and she stores everything in the cloud which even then isn't much she's got like the smallest tech footprint I've ever seen <sighs> she's probably the one customer on the in the world that could get away with using an HP stream Alright, so while we're waiting for this installation, since you guys have already watched me install Windows like a trillion times. drive so we need to install it you do see here that this uh, N7010 did have a successful installation that fan is like still going though it's so annoying we went into the BIOS already on this Dell I'm gonna do it again just to verify that there's no setting that we can change to fix that fan problem, because god, that fan is so noisy. Speed step is turned on. In There's literally no fan control in here. It's like the shittiest BIOS I think I've ever seen. Maybe we'll turn off turbo mode. Alright. I don't know if 
I want to take this whole fucking thing apart just to get to the stupid fan. We'll, s we'll try using speed fan instead. We'll just monitor the temps using speed fan. It's a really old program that you can use to um, control fan speed on computers where fan controllers are not readily available in the BIOS. So we'll try that first. Switch back to Philips. <laughs> oh, our is just Yeah, I found I found a picture of my credit card. So it was just Lord, like I was like so stressing because your dog was stressing. I mean, and I took the time to take him out because he was so stressed. Thank you, honey. I was wondering what was taking you so long. I was like, damn, the, Chi the Chinese food got here. Hey, are you serious? What? I left my laptop. <laughs> she went all the way back to grab my wallet, which I didn't need, and then forgot her laptop that she went there to get. <laughs> uh, That's okay, we're only going to be here for another hour and a half. That's really annoying. I really wanted to... I've got your drive updated. Got your drive updated. Thank you. Okay, come here. Figure out which food is yours first and then figure out which food is yours first and never mind. I was gonna say figure out which food is yours and then bring me mine. Jeez. Alright. All right, so here's the old drive. It's a 500 gig Western Digital Blue from olden days. We're going to replace it with a, a 500 gig Western Digital Blue from new in days. Now, I wanna go ahead and label this particular drive so that we know that it's hers. Ah, perfect. The person that I was expecting. Huh? You chicken? Yes. Hello. Hey Diane. Hi. How's it going? So I'm almost I'm like a couple of minutes done with your computer. The clone failed. The clone failed, so that drive in there was definitely bad. Um, and I'm yeah, I mean it was it was failing within the first five minutes and I tried it multiple times with different softwares. I have no idea. Give me just a second. Rad computers, this is Mark. Mm hmm. Work. Some drives, you know, being at main. Hello? Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, for sure. It is efficient. Okay, yeah, no problem. Sometimes you get those, like, random draws from manufacturers that, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, so we'll have it over there by 10 o'clock. They just mess up on their end, and then it comes out. All right, thanks so much. My pleasure. <laughs> it sucks. Bye-bye. <laughs> it does. So those cases happen. Well, now, so, I mean, was I able to keep anything that was on my hard drive? You should be able to keep everything. I'm waiting for it to finish this installation, and then I'm going to do the transfer. But you have so little data that it's really not going to take that long. You might not be able to read it because Apple will try to format it as uh, an Apple proprietary file system, but if you need them, you can bring that drive and the computer back down to me and I can try to transfer them for you. Okay. Well, that, the, the Apple computer 
for any computer really. It happens. Yeah. It's f it's doing the windows. I'm just waiting for it. Probably be about half an hour, I think. Yeah, no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, no, I get it. Oh, I didn't know that, DMAT. How'd you find that out? Oh, while we're here, we can take this battery out because it doesn't work. and install this battery. It's the exact same one, just third party. This OEM replacement battery actually has a lower rating than the um, third party batteries. Go figure. All right, let's see how quick her computer is now. I already did a cleanup on it, so. Hi there. Hi there. Shut up. Shut up. Oh yeah, that's way faster. Oh, you can take this one. We got like PS2 lore. I'm like, for real? <laughs> yeah. And now it's new age technology. Here you go. Thank you. Well, yeah, those are over there with the legacy devices. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yep, my pleasure. Yes. Just a second, guys. Holy guacacholi. That is way faster. Okay, don't let me hold you up. Just pick the one you want from the list. Yes. Why is the mouse working? It's annoying. Make your computer. No. Yes. Yes. Why is it asking me to do this if it doesn't have a microphone that's listening? In the garbage. I'm a dog person. Alright, let's uninstall some of the junk. Some more of the junk. The Bing Bar takes forever to uninstall. One of the worst programs. It's just supposed to be a stupid little toolbar. And it takes like five minutes to uninstall. Yeah, Bing Bar 2019. Oh, right on, DMET. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's see what's new for Windows.
She's got a super old version of malware bytes. Let's take away the super anti-spyware. Diane, do you have one N or two in your name? One. Thank you. There's a lovely family Just for you. Yes to sync your activities. Oh, there's the mouse. Yes. Must have been a driver issue. Alright, now we're doing updates. Almost done now. Just need to get a few more things. I like the Wild Tangent had a top down video game on HPs that I used to love playing. I don't remember what it was called, but I've always been a top-down shooter kind of guy. <sighs> yep. What? Okay, hold on. Give me a second, guys, so I can go check on hers. thing started. I gotta do her data transfer real quick. I just need it for like 30 seconds. Alright, I need a transfer tool. Yeah, once, I, once you plug in a UEFI and there's a blank hard drive, it'll automatically boot to the disk. Alright, just give me one second while I switch mine back to legacy boot. It happens. 
Alright, I'm gonna run Fab's auto backup on her computer, guys. You guys have seen me do that a trillion times, too. I'm going to transfer from her drive. Our drive next. I don't think I don't think we have any. Uh, did they, did they, not give us any? they gave us that bag, that was it. Cool. Give me a second. I think we have some, I'll look. There's a gas station across the street. Why don't I give you, uh, why don't you go grab, uh, grab me a Powerade White Cherry. I sent you 20 bucks on... Yeah, for whatever reason my car didn't work. That's weird. Okay. Alright, let me set this back to UEFI and then you can install it. Here's my drive. Okay. There you go. So this computer is good, but we actually do need to do one more thing. So what I'm going to do... Oh, not yours, sorry. <laughs> yours will be done in a second. It's doing the data transfer and uh, program installation right now. Did you bring a charger with it? I did, I gave it to you. Okay. It's gonna be on my desk somewhere. I've got a ton of computers and chargers here because I was fixing everything at the same desk. There's some adapters over here and it was just I labeled it. No, I labeled hers when she brought it in. I think I see it. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do a router setup so that you can set up a router without having to be on site and it'll automatically reconnect the customer's stuff. So the thing is, it, it's easiest in Windows 7. In Windows 8, it gets a little tricky. I guess in Windows 8, it's the same process. Windows 10 though, um, you have to use a program, but what you wanna do is you wanna go to the control panel Network and sharing centers. In just a second. Hey, Jeremy. I'm well, and yourself? The, the store phone is a cell phone. Oh, yeah, that's my fiance. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, how much it, how much will it cost me?
Uh, it should be in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I do have it here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's like two inches too short. It's really frustrating. Okay. All right. What's the hour? That's perfect. I, I just, yeah, just get it done. I, I just want this stupid thing out of my out of my shop. <laughs> cool. I appreciate it. Yep. Because you never know which screen it's for until you open it up or attach it to something. Yep. I agree. Okay. Cool. Well, just let me know when it's done. Okay. Um, that's the one that got damaged, and I think we chucked it. I mean, it was, it was, com yeah, I mean, it was completely destroyed. I didn't think we'd have a use for it. I should have just kept it so I could salvage the cables. Uh, it was the LCD. Like, it, it got, I mean, the whole frame was pretty jacked up. I don't know how they... Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. Alright, hey, I appreciate it. Yep, my pleasure. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mac Masters is awesome, guys. If you need Mac stuff, they're all different sizes. What do you need them for? Remember, we were supposed to locate the missing screws for my purple laptop. We can do that later. I've got her and this one I've got to do. We'll, we'll, we'll find them. I'm sure I have. Through. I'm sure I have somewhere the all the screws you need for that. Mm -hmm. I just don't know where they are at the moment. There's okay. Here. No, those those go to Ari's computer. I just don't have them next to it because it's a magnet. Okay, so I gotta call this customer and find out what the name of her network is so that we can just copy the correct one. Pretty sure it's the third one. Hey, what's up, Ice? Sorry I didn't see you earlier. Actually, hey, Teresa, this is Mark with Rad Computers. I'm well, and yourself? Much better, but my jaw hurts. Did I tell you I had to go back and get four more shots so that they could actually put the crown on? 
Yeah, so the crown didn't fit correctly, so they were gonna just redo it right then and there. It was gonna take an hour, but they had another uh, another thing scheduled, so I had to go back later on that day and redo all three shots and then one more. So I got seven shots in, in the right side of my jaw yesterday, and my jaw hurts like so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But I was calling to get the name of your Wi-Fi. The one that people connect to. Just the name of it. Just the name of it. Um, generally not, no. People usually set it up with a name. So like if you've got a new phone or a new tablet or a game console and you need to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. Okay, in all caps. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and get this process done and then your computer is ready. Yes, it took five hours and 45 minutes. Yep, my pleasure and it's working much faster now. Uh, you can come by today if you'd like or you can come pick it up tomorrow. Okay. Yep, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Diane, I'm gonna get you your computer real quick.
Okay guys, so what we're going to do, sorry for that, appreciate you guys for sticking here, so the way that we're going to set up this router is we're going to copy the exact settings here, even though it's called Netgear 33 and we're setting up an ASUS, it really doesn't matter, I like to think that it throws off the hackers, it says it's a Netgear, why isn't my tool working, I don't know, whatever. I literally can't even. So what we're gonna do is open the box, take out the router, skip the CD, skip the stop sign, all that stuff. Do an unboxing of this router real quick. Tiny little ASUS AC1300 dual band gigabit router. I just need to move these two out of the way so that I have access to the power button on the back. And we're going to need an Ethernet cable. You don't have to do it over Ethernet, you can actually do it over Wi-Fi. You just have to connect multiple times every time you make a change. Which gets frustrating, but I have done it multiple times with laptops that don't have Ethernet. Because I'm a ninja. They really twisted this. Why do they twist it like 18,000 times? One rad, and it's rad computers all lowercase, no space. Okay, where can we plug this in? Right here. Uh, we also last night, for those of you that do not watch me on my keto cooking stream, which is twitch.tv slash ratatouille, R-A-D-O-U-I, oh no wait, R-A-D-A-T-O-U-I-L-L-E, god that's a, it's ratatouille with a D instead of a T for the first piece. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Alright. So, we're going to connect this. We're going to check the settings on this. So, it says Netgear 33. This does get easier on Windows 7 and 8 because what you do is you double click on this. You go to security. And then you hit show characters. And then it'll just confirm that you want to and then you can just grab this. Now the important parts are the name it has to match exactly including capitalization spaces and symbols the security type is WPA2 personal the encryption type is AES if it's set to TKIP this will not I mean it'll work but you have to have it exactly the same huh? Uh, put owner it's for his son so I have no idea what his son's name is and then it's wide mango 429, so we're just going to copy that. The rest of it's pretty much standard settings, so we're going to go into the command prompt to grab the IP address of the router that we're trying to connect to. Oh, silly me, I plugged into the Ethernet port. We're just going to renew this. Because releasing is for suckers. 192.168.50.1. So we'll go ahead and go into a Chrome window. One nine two. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot fifty. Oops. 
192.168.50.1 is what I meant to put. Wants to do the quick internet wizard setup, which we can skip. Expert mode, A. Wants us to create a new password, so we'll just use the wide mango 429. We're going to leave this in wireless router mode. Uh, it does not require username and password. It's automatic. And here's where the magic happens. We can't change this right here um, without clicking no. So the network name we have to set to Netgear33. And you can actually set them to be the same on both. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat. Okay, so it's setting up the router now. It's looking for an active Ethernet connection. But since it has no active, um, I'm sorry, internet connection, so since it has no active internet connection, it's going to fail on the internet test, which is okay. What are you doing? Or which one is that, I mean? Oh. Stop screwing with yours and eat. <laughs> I don't have a utensil! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we gotta go get... I gotta go get some utensils. <laughs> Alright. So that's how you set it up. So that uh, when she gets it home, it'll automatically reconnect. Now we can test this by unhooking the Ethernet cable and just letting it sit on Wi-Fi, and if we just wait long enough... It should see the Netgear 33, and then it should automatically try to connect to it, and then it's going to gripe and complain that there's no... that there's no internet, basically. So we'll just give this a second. We'll restart the computer real quick. A reboot might fix it. Okay. One second, I gotta find you. Okay, let's just log in real quick, and we'll see if it tried to connect automatically to the Wi-Fi. Hey, there it is, internet access, which is a complete fucking lie, it shouldn't have any internet access, but it does say it's connected. Sometimes it breaks, so that's okay, no problem. Hey, Ernesto. Uh, no, the adapter that I ordered, I told you it was coming in tomorrow. Yep. Uh, yes, yeah, I'll start heading your way probably at six o'clock on the dot tomorrow and I'll be there right around seven. Okay, yeah, if I get it done sooner, I'll have my fiancé bring it to you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <sighs> okay, so there you go. I don't know why it says we have internet access. Because we definitely don't. 
In some instances, you'll have an antivirus that screws up that icon. So we can try to ping yahoo.com and we get nothing. So yeah, no internet, it's a lie. But we know the router is set up correctly because it automatically reconnected. And the computer is much faster. I mean, it was taking five minutes to start up just to get to the just to get to the window screen. Yes, Ratatouille, exactly like that. Ice. That's exactly correct. I type it in, but my keyboard is still jacked up for some reason. All right. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff back, and then I'm gonna run across the street and grab utensils so that I can eat. My fiance can eat. I'm a stickler when it comes to repackaging things. Like, call it the retail side of me, but if you disassemble something, you'd better you'd better put it back exactly the way you found it. Or close to. Like, don't go ripping boxes up just because you're too doofusy to know how to open it correctly without jacking it all up. It's probably the bag for that other thing actually. Whatever. Oh actually no, that's the bag for the Ethernet cable. Hey, what's up, Dark Man and Kevbo? Oh yeah, yeah, it's it is my last follower, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, so. That's done. Her laptop is done. What's next on the list? Can't see it. I don't know. What I'll do is I'll just remote into my, old, my own computer here in a second using my phone. So that I can see what else we have on the agenda. drive so it needs a label hate this fucking marker now looks nothing like silver all right be right back give me like five minutes guys I'm gonna run across the street grab some utensils Sometimes you do. I just get it for free. If 
Alright guys, oh, sorry about that, I am back, I am back, I am back. So, I'm only partially back apparently, because my computer is not letting me see what's going on. So, I'm just going to remote into my own machine. Password correctly. That'd be nice. All right. So okay. Let me see what else we've got on the agenda, real quick. I could fix the problem if I would reboot my computer, but that means I would have to kill the stream, and there's really no reason to do that. Do it this way. All right, so we got the fresh install. We did the battery. Uh, we skipped the fan teardown. We did the router setup. We can't do the clone right now. Nor can we do the iMac. So all that's left now is projects. Woo! Projects. All right. And some drink. And some boots. So the project that I have in mind is L-theanine. Mm. L-theanine is supposed to help keep you calm. That's why people drink green tea for the L-theanine. At least according to my chiropractor. So, first project. We had an 850 watt power supply that was donated to us. He said that the thing that was wrong with it was that the uh, he said that the power supply fan was extremely loud. So let's test that. What we'll do is we'll jump this just like we did the last time. I think there's a way to test this. God, seriously, people? Brad Computers, this is Mark. I'm good, how are you? Hey, what's up? Uh, no, what's up?
You haven't stated what you haven't stated what the problem is. is Cox not fast enough. Okay, are you on Android or iPhone? Okay, why don't you bring your Android bring your Android phone in so I can install an application on it and then I'll need to remote into your computer to configure it and then I'll tell you how to use it. If you have your if you can bring your computer down here at the same time, I'll make sure it works. Not the way I do it, no. Have you have you called them? Have you called them to make sure? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. But just bring bring the computer and and uh, and the phone by the Android phone by, and uh, I'll get it configured for you. Ten ten to six Monday through Friday. To the retail store. I'll I'll text you the address. Send me a, send me a text message, and I'll reply to you. Yeah, yeah, just the Android. Okay, no problem. Correct. Yep. Yep, you too. Yep. Alright. Yep. Bye. Holy shit, sorry guys. Man. These calls just get, keep getting weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. <laughs> it's like every call that I get is just more weird than the last one. Okay. Hey babe. Yeah. You didn't or you did? Are the pins bent? No. What's the problem with it again? Well, at first it was, I, I thought, well, originally it was that power cable because it was all like intertangled in the hinges and that's why I couldn't turn off the end with. Right. So that undone, that became undone and it actually became usable. Wi Fi was having issues. I remember having to change that out and I was giving this other new Wi Fi card. I think it was starting to work. But at any rate, um, Maybe I think it shut down one day and I was like, what the heck? And you're like, it's probably the processor. Yep. I think that's what happened. Well, the processor you had in there was slow. So the bearings on this fan are definitely bad. I mean, it's barely moving at all. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. That's all we get. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take this apart, take a measurement for the fan. We're gonna blow it out while we have it open. And then we're gonna replace the fan. This does void the warranty. Not that there's one left. I called EVGA about this and they, they said, well, if we had the original receipt, then we might be able to replace it but since there's no original receipt 
Your SOL. Okay, cool. No problem. Up. Oh, so these these screws right here are fan screws for sure. We want to leave those at least two of them in to keep the fan in place while we pull it up. We also need to see if it's a two uh, two pin, three pin, or four pin. And I do not recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing. You can severely injure yourself along with breaking your power supply. That's just a standard 120. Ew, somebody had a dog or a cat. And it's a two pin. So these are capacitors right here. These are the things you don't wanna don't wanna jack around with. It's a two pin. We, we even have a part number right here. So let's see if we can find this anywhere. It's 120 volt, 0.33 amp. I might have one of these, not this exact fan, but I might have a two pin. Nope, that's a four 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 pin. <laughs> So they're all four pins. All right, let me hop on the Amazon real quick. Okay, so this fan number is RL4Z. Which brings up a whole bunch of shit that's has nothing to do with what we're looking for, so let's check out eBay. RL4Z. Uh, S13 52512H. So that fan, a clear one, a clear one unbranded is twelve dollars and eighty-eight cents. It is point three three amps. Let's see if we can go to Amazon and look up a. I can't tell. I think that's one hundred and twenty millimeter. measure it against another 120 millimeter. Nope. It's 140 millimeter. Let's measure it against 140 millimeter just to be sure. That's odd. It's not quite. It's not quite. Uh, yeah, it is. It's 140. This one just has a weird spacing. So... 140 millimeter. Oops. It's two pin fan. Noctua makes a three pin. I wish the Amazon app would turn sideways, it's annoying. Four pin. 
guess we need one that's 0.33 amps. Or, I'm sorry, 0.33, yeah, 0.33 amps. What we could do, since this is a two pin fan, is if I had 140 millimeter, I would just switch it. I don't want to use the one that I just measured it against because it is a $30 fan with RGB lighting and I'm not going to do that to it. We, not be, we might not be able to find this exact one. Let me see if I can get my stupid keyboard work. Huh, nope, whatever happened to the computer is in the keyboard. Hey, it did turn sideways. Yep, so that's three pin. I do a search specifically for two pin and I get nothing. All right, so clearly flea bay is the way to go. Got some pre-owned ones. I kind of want to sort by distance because it looks like a lot of them come from China, but it's not going to let me do that. Nope. All right. Uh, it is 135 millimeter, so it's not 140. It's a really odd size. Well, since we know it's 135 millimeter, let's check Amazon again. Fourteen amp. It's a cooler master fan. It's also had a price filter. The only one that matches, but it says it's 38 millimeter. The other ones are 25 millimeter. All right. So let's find one that's not shipping from China. Oh, this one's out of a silver stone. It's a three pin, but that's okay. We can just chop off the data one. Son of a gun. This is Mark. Hey. Good, yeah, my, it feels great, but my jaw hurts a little bit on the right hand side, but it did the last time too, so I know it'll go away in about a week. Yeah, I only I only needed pain medication yesterday. It feels pretty normal today. Okay, you always do a great job. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, no problem. All right. Yeah, thanks. You too. Bye bye. 
like I said yesterday, I have a really good dentist. <laughs> He's just calling to check up on me personally to make sure that, uh, make sure I was okay. So it's a three pin, that's okay. We will see where it's shipping from. Sandy, Utah. So we could literally get that in a couple days. Hong Kong, China, 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 China. Perfect fit, fuel pump. What? I don't think so. All right, well that looks like the only fan that works that isn't shipping from China. Hey, let's do it. Hey. Yep. There's thermal, thermal paste. I got a bunch of thermal paste over here. Throw it. You remember how much to use? Rice. Perfect. Grain. Rice grain. All right. Take a picture of this power supply. We are going to do a before and after picture comparison. So I'm about to take this sucker out and blow it out. All right, be right back. Okay, class, look at that, night and day difference with that power supply, A. <sighs> Still got some dust in the heat sink area, but we won't complain too much, it looks much better. Okay, so this is our first project. We've got our information, we've got the fan on order. orientation of the stupid thing was. going to be strong enough to stream to stream from for my Ratatouille stream. It works, but it can't encode anything well, so we're going to switch it to do something else. Did you eat your food? Actually, you know what, maybe we won't use this one, because this is a sellable computer. It 
functions for everything except what I need it to do. No, actually the right click button doesn't work, so let's try what I want to do first. Which is turn it into a recaster. It has to have HDMI to do that. Which it does not. It has display port. Let me see if I have a display port to HDMI converter or cable. <laughs> I do. This is the first cable I looked at. Nice. Okay. Let's see if it works though. Alright. God, I can barely open my mouth. So this is the old one. The old one was a massive hunk of junk. Hey, what's up, fi <clears throat> 95432? Um, we're sticking the fan inside of a power supply. I don't know if you realize that. It's a two, it's a two pin power supply uh, fan connector. I don't really have any control over how fast it spins except for the eco button on the back. Okay. So this already has 4 gigs in it, this is an additional 2 gigs, give it 6, it's really not going to be used for anything except for recasting, so it's going to display my mixer stream on the TV since it's almost instantaneous, and then it's also going to have Steam installed, and it's going to recast it to a Steam link that's going to another television so that they're pretty much going at the exact same time. I got this idea because my amazing fiance plays The Sims and watches TV through a Steam link that's connected to her PC and I can walk into the bedroom and watch her play or I can go into the computer room and still watch her play because it's literally instantaneous. So the other thing that I wanted to do was instead of using the 60 gig that's in here, instead of reconfiguring and setting up all this shit is we can take the 60 gig out of this one and the 60 gig out of the other one and just swap them. Alright, so here's the 60 gig. See, it's a Silicon Power S55, just like the other one that we had go bad on us. How you doing, 95432? You know, you say your name enough, you get used to it. Oh, 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 oh. I don't care about the, uh, the flicker. We're, we're just testing it for stuff. This, this in, in essence isn't going to be used for anything. Nope, you're going to have to learn to deal with it. Yeah, we're going to run this basically headless because... That's how I was running this one. No screen. So I could care less about the video stuff for now. I was only turning it on briefly to see uh, that it worked, or to show that it worked, I guess. 
And now that this computer is going away, I can't wait to get it out of the fucking shop. It's gonna be great. I hate this piece of shit. Seriously, it's such garbage. Literally nothing good came out of this computer. Oh, well, I guess it ran commercials for... It ran commercials for almost a year. It tried. Oh yeah, it was a print server. Okay, I was gonna chuck it behind my shoulder, but now that I remember that part, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, hold F to pay respect and then chuck it. Oh, right on. I'm as usual too. I'm doing pretty good today. pieces are so lame. Alright, just gotta see which way it goes. Alright. This should fire right up with Steam installed, and it should start playing our commercial. It will try to readjust itself first. Where's the power switch? There it is. It's gonna try to adjust itself to uh, the computer, so we'll give it a couple minutes. Oh, I am the notebook owner. We're gonna r use this to just run commercials through HDMI. All right, so we gotta change the boot type. Yeah, and actually, I don't, I don't see any flicker on this. At least I don't notice anything. So I think the other one was installed with Legacy, so we're just going to <sighs> kill myself. Alright, so we're gonna do Legacy only. Rad computers, this is Mark. Hey. Well, and yourself? Uh sure. Um, actually, you know what, can I, can you call me in about an hour? Let me, how about I, I can do it, but I can't stay on the phone while I do it, so can I text you the instructions on getting me remoted in, and then as soon as I see it pop in, I'll have all the information that I need. Okay. Nope, oh, you're good. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay, so our commercial is running. It's not hogging up the whole screen like I would expect it to, but the aspect ratio, like the Microsoft Edge logo, doesn't look like a square. So I'm assuming. It's because our display settings are wrong. Yeah, because this, this display is all squashed and weird.
I'm looking for the display settings and I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing the display settings. <laughs> I also can't right click without a mouse, which is annoying. Okay, there's the display settings, which for some reason weren't showing up in the control panel. I'll bet the aspect ratio is wrong. Yep, 1024 by 768, which means it needs a display driver, so we're going to connect it to our Wi-Fi, which is nice because the other one didn't have Wi-Fi because we sold the Wi-Fi card. <sighs> to connect to this one. Let's check the device manager real quick. Surprised it didn't try to do the new PC setup. <laughs> yeah, so Rec Drones is actually uh owned by this guy Pete and they're right behind they're basically right behind our thing and they create uh, and race drones and it's pretty cool what they've been able to do with stuff over there like they're always zipping around these little like wallet sized drones that fly up to like 35 45 miles an hour it's nuts Okay. What do you mean I can only install one device at a time? Shut the front door. I don't think so. This computer actually might not be able to do what I want either. The what? You're not supposed to take them off. I know it actually fell off and this has been this way with this and now it, it got worse when I replaced the ribbon. Um, and now I have the little piece but it just keeps coming off. Bring it over here. So I can repair it on stream. I was I was literally just talking about this last week. About how those little connectors are pieces of shit. So we'll do a repair on one real quick. Like Flappy, don't lose it because man, that's the most important one, the power one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, it's for the power. Yeah. Way to fuck it all up. <laughs> no. That's how I've been. So she's trying to repair a laptop that's that belongs to her that she hasn't seen in like ages. And a little clip came out. Came out pretty clean though. She's gonna let me guess where it went, which is great. Oh god. <laughs> You're putting it all back together, right? Just not the 
assuming that's this one right here. Although it really doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's not the right one. Well, it might be. It's top left by the DC jack, right? So there's supposed to be two legs that hold it in, and the legs broke off. So bring me the other piece. Bring me the ribbon. Oh, the ribbon. Or the top, the top side, yeah. That's a brand new ribbon and brand new uh, power chip right here. Thanks. Yep. I made sure that you bought me the one with the new ribbon and the power thing, so there would be no question. Okay. Man, what is going on with my long-term memory? It's always been that good, but dang, it's on fire. Yep, I hate it when these stupid connectors come out, too. talking the other week about how when these break you can use saran wrap yeah. to add pressure to them so that they actually stay in place really? but in this case what I'm going to do is once I get this connector back on, is we're gonna hot glue it. I mean, you can still do your power test, you know, with it hot glued like that. Yeah, hot glue is non-conductive, so actually, when you're building a computer and you have to ship it, hot glue is the way to go. Cool. Wish you had uh, tweezers now, huh? No. Maybe not, it could make it worse. Bring it everywhere. Yeah, that's definitely the correct orientation, so. You're gonna answer me, does it push in mainly or slide in or kind of like both? It's supposed to lift up like a lever, and then you're supposed to set it down again. Oh, good okay. God. Um, my hot glue gun should be right on the other side of that pile. I think. Oh, no, never mind, it's right here. Uh, old clip plus hot glue. Close. Because the hot glue can be peeled up when we need to, but the main thing that we need is pressure.
You can watch. Just don't kick my... Don't kick my computer over because my food is on it. Hey, Darkest. Yeah, basically hot snot. And thank you for posting the link earlier. I appreciate it. And thanks for visiting me on my Ratatouille stream. Those of you that uh, aren't visiting are missing out because I'm really good at cooking. He's on fire. <laughs> yeah, last night, three keto pizzas, blueberries, uh, keto blueberry syrup, keto cheesecake. Oh, damn. We still, and excuse me, we still, get, we still have to eat that. Right? Mango habanero wings. Yeah. The cheesecake is still in the fridge. All right. So it's starting to come out, but it's super slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to dump out a, a squirt of the hot glue on elsewhere onto plastic so that I can get a fresh hot glob of snot. And I want to anchor this to the edge and then lay it across. Insane, man. And then we need this to cool down. I'm also going to anchor it to this side right in the corner. the other corner, and the other side. You want it touching the board because if you don't touch the board, it won't anchor down. And then you want it to anchor from the board while it's still hot. You want it to go across the top here to pressurize it. I don't know how it's not even flung forward. I'm just So we basically encapsulated it in hot glue, like a little shell that we can remove at any time. That's Do not remove the pick until, or you know, paper clip. You're probably going to use a pen or a razor or something. Do not remove it until you are 100% sure that the glue is dry. And it's probably going to latch onto your pick a little bit. So, oh yeah, no, don't use epoxy for this. And you're just gonna lift up, and there you go. Now the only problem that that creates is that when she connects her cable, she's gonna have to do it this way. But that should be easy enough. It's got lengthy enough cable. Yep, so I'm gonna have her reassemble this because I don't know if that's the correct order of assembly. <laughs> There you go. Very much? Yep, no problem. I was fretting. <laughs> I could tell. Alright, so that's one way to repair those. It's not a true repair. It's not, um, it's not replacing the socket. Because once those little things break, it's almost impossible to find just that piece with the little legs. <sighs> And then you gotta match the socket, the ribbon size, length, all that shit. It's fucking annoying. Okay. So. Alright. Now we should be able to go to our display properties. I wonder if it shows up now that it's not a basic adapter. If so, that would be something that I never knew about Windows. Hey, graphics and media. It looks like it's the right resolution now. That's us. Hey. Alright, perfect. So that's playing now. So we've got an internet connection. And Steam should have automatically launched.
Alright, so Steam launched finally. And now I'm gonna go to the Steam link real quick. Ooh, that's a good point. So this is a f supposed to be a 4K video. Ouch. 76%, we're not recasting yet. Well, I've got one more computer that we could use this for. Or use for this, give me just a second. I wanna see if, um, I wanna see if this works. For some reason, Steam Link isn't seeing this computer online, even though it is. Need to make sure we're connected to the correct... Oh, that's why. Well, thanks for connecting that for me, babe. The DC jack is really behind me. It's okay. Alright, so... Let's go to Wi-Fi. Manage known networks. Oh, that's why I connected the wrong one. Seriously? Ah, the battery on this thing sucks. This is Mark. Hey, I'm well, how are you? Yeah, yep. Um, so I've got those, but uh, I'm currently in the middle of something. Can I call you back at 7? Okay. Cool, sounds good. Yep, my pleasure. Alright, I know he had a third party charger. Bless you. Bless you, here it is. great because the other one didn't even have a battery. I get a charger with this? Oh wait, that's not the right charger. Let's see. Where is that shitty Lenovo charger? Too many computers on the desk at the same time. There's another shitty Lenovo charger. Another one. Charger went. It 
was the only round one I had by my desk. Like the... Hmm? Yeah, the one for the one that I'm working on like right now. No, it's not that one. It's not the one behind me. I know I have several of them. Let's go grab another one, unless it's... Yeah, no. One second. to take home and then I thought about it and I was like uh, I don't want my first stream to suck for my ratatouille so I used my other laptop. Do you have the keys or do I? I... Okay just unlock the car. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't where I thought it was going to be either. It's okay. Forgot I had brought the box in already. Okay. Damn, I want to eat this, but it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to open my mouth. Let's try the steam link real quick.
good as I want it to. So let's change the streaming settings. It's really good actually. The problem that I was having with the other processor was that it was choking while trying to display the commercial. I mean it was choking really bad. So the other thing I want to do is see if it works to display mixer. It's amazing what one generational change will do, because they were both i5s. Nice. Okay. Let's just see what that looks like real quick. better but it could be a lot worse too. I think actually it's probably about the same. So I think that mission is accomplished. Now one thing that I did want to do is, well first let me mute that channel so that I don't have to see that stupid speaker icon. Mute it. I wanted to see if there was a way through the Chrome API uh, to detect sound. Because if there is, I want it to pop the window up to the top. And the reason for that is because if, it's, if there is sound, that means I'm streaming. And I want it to push that video up above the VLC media player video. And then maybe we can do something with it. Like create a pop up. I have a list bookmarked somewhere of. Oh, maybe this is it the extension APIs. Well, I don't want to create an API. There's got to be a way to do this. Move a window to the front when you hear audio playing. To get people's attention, like people that can't hear, there's got to be a way. A single SATA cable for $20? Dude, I would have been rich. I threw away like a hundred of those.
Yeah, if there was an app to make it always on top, that would be cool. I mean, maybe Auto Hotkey can do it, but I don't know how to program for Auto Hotkey. <laughs> Anybody know of a utility that can do what I'm trying to do? <laughs> That'd be cool, Adam. So, on detection of audio in Chrome, I'd like to bring Chrome to the top. And then when the audio disappears, I'd like for it to I'd like for it to disappear. Or alternatively, well, yeah, that'd be the way to do it. There wouldn't be another way. Because if that could be done, that would be amazing. Then I could have the commercial running, and as soon as I start streaming, the stream pops up in full screen on the on both TVs. And when I stop streaming, it goes back to playing the commercial automatically. That would be I, optimum. <laughs> optimal. I don't know how long that would take though, but that would be pretty friggin' slick. Might be able to do it in HTML actually. Just make one one page that has an embed for both the video and the uh, and the commercial or the video and the mixer stream. I don't know.
Actually, it might be able to be done just with JavaScript rather than a program. Let me see. Mm. I thought I had a whole thing of commands that I could use for that. Give me just a second. This phone is about to die. Damn, it says zero percent. shut it off for a little bit so it's it's the commercial that I have that plays all the time it's this one you can see it on our Facebook or on our YouTube this one runs in the background pretty much all day long without audio So if this runs all day, then when I start streaming, I would like for my stream to pop up over the commercial in full screen mode so that it automatically shows up. What? Shut up. Really? You can do that in Streamlabs? Shut up. Really? Tell me how. So that it automatically pops up when there's audio playing? Okay, so this plays all the time. I have it up on a television all the time, and my, my Steam Link mirrors it to another television. So ignore the Steam Link, let's just pretend that this is the computer that we want to deal with. When I start streaming on Twitch, I also multicast it to Mixer. Mixer is a lot faster than Twitch is to display the video. So there's like, there's almost no delay. It's like a one, one to two second delay because of the faster than light um, protocol that Mixer uses. So what I would like to do is, since this is running commercials all the time, if somebody comes in here and I'm not streaming, I want them to be able to see the commercial without me having to do anything. If they come in and I'm streaming, I would like for them to see that I'm, you know, I'd like for them to see exactly what you guys see, but I don't want to have to change something over and over and over and over and over again to do that. I would like the process to occur automagically. So hopefully that makes sense. The, and the way that I can think about that working is if the video starts playing, there's going to be audio. So if we take the audio as a trigger to move the picture to, to move the HTML mixer channel to the front, then that would be great. And then once the audio stops because I've stopped streaming, then it would send the HTML page behind the, the commercial. So on audio play, bring bring mixer feed to the front. Um no. That won't work because <clears throat> then I have to interact with it. I want it to be completely hands-free because I tuck this laptop behind a desk and I don't want to move it every single day. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get on it. Give me a second. Let's use this cable to show you guys what I'm doing instead of doing this lame ass way. laptops out there that are more powerful than that single core. Maybe the processor is bad. Maybe it doesn't support that processor. So this computer doesn't output through the display port correctly. Hashtag irritated. So this one won't work either. Because even when I extend it, it doesn't work unless I unplug the wrong cable. Time's a charm then. We can't use this one for this purpose either. No, I don't, it's, no. So this isn't the streaming computer. This is a computer that's viewing the stream. Like, it could be your computer, basically. So this is just a computer that's gonna be tucked away somewhere. Let's imagine it's running the commercial at all times. And then when I start streaming, there's a tab that's already open on this computer that pops up to the front. Yeah, okay, you got it. That eureka moment. Okay, so we can't use this computer either to do what we want, which sucks. So... We do need the commercial.
what did I name this user? Probably Pops again. Oh, Rad Commercial. I don't need it to be clean code, it just needs to be working code. <laughs> right on, man. If you can, that'd be awesome. I don't know how I could compensate you, just let me know how long it takes. And I use Chrome and VLC Media Player. Okay, so... something to do with it. And we'll use instead the one that I bought the power supply for. This one will have to do, because it's all we got. Okay, so... Alright, this one definitely has HDMI, I think. Yep. So let me plug this back in. Bless you. Bless you. For what? Ooh, you know what? I'll bet you maybe the Elgato just isn't working because of the problem that we had earlier. I got the drive, so Good. I wonder if that's the case. He wanted his uh, files. Yeah. No problem. Damn, I'm gonna have to reboot the computer, guys. I'll be back in five minutes. Maybe less. Stay tuned.